LSAT 78, game one. We have seven workers, Q, R, S, T, V, W, and X, three of which will be on a project. So I've got three that are in the in group, four will be out, and one on the project will be the leader. That's why I have an L here. Q and R, if they're on the project, they must be the leader. So I've written Q implies Q is the leader, similar for R. If S is on the project, then T is also. If W is on the project, then neither R nor V can be on the project. Okay, so we've got an acceptable situation question, and let's look at our conditions here. So we can't have Q or R on the project and not be the leader, so that, that means B is no good, right? I don't see any R's on the project and not leader. If S is there, then T has to be here, and this one's bad, that way we have an S, but no T. If W is on the project, we can't have R or V. Well, here's W with R, so that's not good. And here's W with V, so C is the only one that satisfies all of our conditions. Okay, let's think about these conditions. I like to split on conditionals, and this conditional gives us information about three different uh, potential members. So let's split on that one. If I put this like this, I'll put W in this column saying W is going to be in somewhere, and then R and V are out, okay? And then if this is not true, if it's not true that W is in, then W has to be out in that case. So this is the other world, okay? So that takes care of this condition. And I could split it again on this when S is in, T is in, but I don't feel like it. I just don't feel like having four different worlds is going to be a big help to me. But I'm going to think a little more about this R and Q if they're in they're the leader. So one thing that comes out of that is R and Q can't be in at the same time. One of them has to be out. Okay. So here I have R is out. Over here, I know that one of R and Q have to be out. So I'm going to go ahead and write R or Q is going to take up one of these spots. And since R is out here, I'm going to just erase the no R's over here. That's just extra noise. And with these worlds, I'll go into the rest of the questions. Number two says, if T is the project leader and W is a member, then the third member is which of these? So when W is a member, we have to be in this world. Okay. If T is the leader, we can put W in this spot, since the leader spot has been taken. Also, since T is the leader, we know that Q cannot be a member at all, right? So we have S and X that can go in either of these spots. There's no reason that either of them wouldn't be possible. If S is in, T has to be in, but T being in does not force S to be in. So S or X is the correct answer. All the other answers are not S or X. Number three says V could be the leader if which the following. So let's figure out what has to be true when V is the leader. Okay, I started with this world. Why'd I do that? Because V isn't even a member in this world. So if V is the leader, then we know that R and Q are out, right? They can't be regular team members, okay? Now, if S is in, then T is in, right? What happens if T is out? Well, if T is out, then S has to be out, but there's not room for five things to be out. So we can't have T out. We must have T in. And S and X can go in either spot, right? We could have S here and X here, X here, S there. Let's see which of these are possible. Neither Q nor S selected. Yeah, we could do that. We could have S here and X in. Neither R nor T selected. No, T is in, S or T, T is in. Neither S or X selected. 
Well, we don't have room for both S and X to be not selected. And again, T can't be out. Number four says if T is out, which of the following must be in? So it's possible to have T out in either of these worlds. Okay. So we'll need to consider both scenarios. Now, whenever T is out, S is out too. Okay. Because if S is in, then T would be in. Now what's left? Well, Q has to be in, and so then Q had to be the leader here. We'll move W up to a regular member spot, and X is the one that's left. Over here, whichever of R or Q is actually in is going to be our leader. And the other ones we have are V and X. So, what must be in? X is the only one that is in every time. Everything else can be out when T is out. Number five says the selections are completely determined if which of the following is true. So with any of these answer choices, if we find two acceptable situations that satisfy this, then it's not completely determined. Okay, so I'm going to start with this world and say, what happens if Q and S are out? Well, then W, T, and X are in, right? And any of those could be the leader, right? So we're not completely determined. There's no reason that W, T, or X has to lead. So that's not the correct answer. Okay, Q and T are out. Okay, so for Q and T out, if I, if I back up, to this world, if I put T out and Q out, well, I have a problem because S would have to be out. So if Q and T are out, I'm not looking at this world. I'm actually looking at this world, okay? And so that in that case, what I've got is that this one's gonna be Q, and this one's gonna be T, and then S is out, and then what's in? Well, R has to be in, so R has to be a leader. And then V and X are in. We're completely determined. We know what our leader is, or other members. So Q and T out completely determines everything. Okay? Let's look at the other ones. C says Q and X are out. Okay. Well... We could have, let's say, I have Q and X out here. Then what's in? I've got S and um, W and T, right? We're all in. And any of these could be the leader. So this isn't completely determined, okay? D says R and W is out. Well, that would have to be over here, because W out means this world. So if I have, this is R. There's various possibilities, right? I could have, say, S and T out, and have V, have Q, V and X in, that's one possibility. Um, another possibility is maybe I have Q out and um, S is out and T is our leader over here, right? There's different things that could happen when W and R are out. Finally, E says R and V are out. Okay, so that's this scenario here. Look, R and V are out. Has this completely determined it? Well, we could have Q as our leader over here, or Q could be out. There's all sorts of possibilities that remain, so that is certainly not completely determined.